and I'm trying to build a new wall. Everything that we do every single day requires our bodies to function properly. Everything from waking up and getting out of bed in the morning to brushing teeth and getting ready for the day, putting your shoes on and preparing to leave the house. Daily activities like doing the laundry and preparing a meal. Everything we do depends on our bodies being able to do two important things. Number one, our bodies have to have a structure. We have to have body parts that carry us around from place to place. We need muscles that move and allow for us to do these different activities. And the second important thing is that we need energy. And for that, we have to burn some fuel. Fuel set aside, I want to quickly spend a few moments today talking about proteins. We have had so many questions about what the best sources of proteins are. And I want to turn your mind for a moment to a renovation project. Imagine I tell you that I have to build a wall. There's a portion of my house that I need to fix up and I'm trying to build a new wall. Imagine I tell you that I'm going to take this wall behind me and break it down first. I don't like the shop. It's a little bit too busy in the store. I don't want to pay for new um, building materials. So I'm rather going to use this wall. I'm going to break this wall down and I'm going to take the bricks apart and I'm going to spend the time to take off all the cement that is you know, layered between all of these bricks and I'm going to take the time to break it all apart and clean up every brick separately and then I'm going to take the cement and I'm going to crush it up into small pieces so that I have new components and then, then I'm going to use those bricks and that crushed up cement to make new cement and to build a new wall. If I said to you that that was my thinking process, you're going to think I'm insane. You're going to think to yourself, why on earth would I go through the entire effort of breaking down a solid wall to take it apart and use the building material? It's so much easier just to use building material fresh from the store. None of that makes any sense. People have been asking us where we get our proteins from. They look at us eating plant-based foods and they're asking, where do you find your protein? The protein in plant-based foods <laughs> is exactly the same as buying fresh material from the store. Protein is made of little building blocks called amino acids and those amino acids are the same as the bricks behind me on this wall. Each and every single protein requires many amino acids to build together like the bricks to form one solid protein or one complete protein as they say. And many people say well animal products contain complete protein so it must be the better source. But they contain complete proteins because they have already been built together. Those little amino acid blocks have already been put together to form a solid wall. When you are eating animal-based proteins as your primary source of protein, you are asking your body to take a solid brick wall and break it apart first so that it can mobilize those small bricks with which to build your cells. The reason for eating protein is to build cells in your body. When you're eating animal-based proteins, you're asking your body to take cells that have already been constructed with amino acids, break them apart in order to mobilize those amino acids and separate them so that your body can then take those amino acids and build your cells. As your body is digesting animal-based proteins and metabolizing them, it produces toxic metabolic waste, which builds up in your system and is an extra load on your detoxing organs, such as your liver and your lymphatic system and your kidneys. On the other end of the spectrum, if you are eating plant-based proteins, those amino acids are not yet constructed into cells. Those little building blocks are still separate. Just like if I were to build a wall with a pile of bricks and cement and sand and stone, and I have all these different building materials with which I can then construct the structure from scratch. When my body is building cell structures from amino acids that I have gotten from my plant-based protein sources, it makes the job so much easier because you see the plant-based amino acids are loose little blocks like separate bricks. My body can pick and choose what it requires for the different cells it's trying to build. It can construct those cells and it does not produce metabolic waste in the process because it doesn't have anything to break down for. People have often asked me, 
what about the fact that plant-based proteins are not complete proteins? They are called incomplete proteins. <laughs> well, the simple answer to this is it's because they haven't been constructed into cells yet. When you're eating plant-based protein sources, one plant source, like one kind of legume, might have a few of the amino acids and two or three other grains might have other amino acids. And separately, they are not complete proteins. They don't contain all the amino acids to build a complete protein. But you don't need them to be because you're going to use them in combination. It takes a few amino acids from this legume and a few amino acids from those grains and some different amino acids from the nuts and the seeds that you're eating. And it picks and chooses exactly what it needs and builds the proteins that it is required to build. It's constructing cells without needing to break down animal cells first in order to mobilize a few amino acids that it's asking for. When you're eating plant-based proteins, you're giving the body a platter to choose from and it uses what it needs. When you're eating animal-based proteins, your body has to do a whole process of breaking down, cleaning up, detoxing, and then it has to take these secondhand proteins and try and build from that. It's not the ideal. Why are people so determined not to stop eating meat and dairy? The simple answer is that animal-based proteins really are not superior. People simply insist on eating them because we're used to doing that. We've grown up in societies where meat and dairy is such a big part of our diets that it's very difficult to change those habits. It's hard to let go of those things because they taste good as well. It's also hard to let go of them because they contain components that are actually addictive. But I can assure you that from personal experience and from speaking to hundreds of people who have switched to a plant-based diet, when you really do make the switch, when you give your body the amino acids that are fresh firsthand for it to choose from, your body thanks you. And many people report feeling better, having increased amounts of energy and seeing their diseases starting to clear up. If you're not convinced yet that plant-based proteins can really make you feel better, I want to give you a challenge. I want to challenge you to take one month, not to go vegan, because remember vegan just means that you're cutting out meat and dairy, but it doesn't actually mean that you're eating healthy diet. Coca-Cola is vegan and that is certainly not healthy. I want to challenge you to take one month to go onto a whole foods plant-based diet where you are eating whole grains, whole legumes, whole fruits and nuts and seeds and vegetables and foods, plant foods, that have not been processed, that have not been altered and that have not been prepared with an addition of a variety of preservatives and chemicals. I want you to try a plant-based diet for one month and then tell me in the comment section below what your experience has been. Tell me what your challenges were, tell me what the things were that were so difficult for you, tell me how you've been feeling and let's talk about it. The fact of the matter is you've got nothing to lose.